Bradford Bass family? Welcome back to Bass Babble. You can see I'm not in the garage. I'm not beside my boat. I'm actually out in my work van. You can see the cage right here behind me. Um, I'm actually on my lunch break right now on the job site. But I had a few extra minutes and I figured, hey, let's make a video. So that's what we're going to do. Today we're going to talk about uh, Jacob Fouts. If you don't know who Jacob Fouts is, he is a Bassmaster Elite Series professional angler and he recently released a video on his youtube page talking about kind of the struggles and the hardships of being a professional bass angler um i'll leave the link in the description guys to his video because i, I really think you should go watch it i don't want you to form an opinion about jacob from my view okay i, I think that you should go watch the video and you can form your own opinions and thoughts on the guy from listening to him speak um but like i said he kind of just talked about that it's not all sunshine and roses as a professional angler he starts the video off i think he's sitting out in his boat or in his driveway or something and i'm just going off of memory i watched the video a couple days ago when he released it um, but he's basically being 100 percent honest he is being very vulnerable very serious very just upfront and honest about the truth of being a professional angler in the bass fishing world and i appreciate that first and foremost um he seems like a good dude um and, and i really appreciate him being honest and being um authentic and putting himself out there because it's not the easiest thing to do um it's not the easiest thing to do it's not easy for guys to be authentic in today's world it's just not for whatever reason we live in a society where everybody has to portray this perfect life like it has to all be great and it's just for whatever reason it's what the world we live in now and i, I don't understand it but that is the truth so when you get a video like jacob released it, it's pretty it's pretty wholesome it's pretty it's, it's a breath of fresh air to see somebody just be realistic i've always tried to accomplish that myself um, if you guys have watched this channel for any amount of time, you know that I tell you, I, I'm real. I'm real as real as they're going to come. I, I do that intentionally, okay? I don't ever want to, I don't ever want somebody to meet me in person and say, man, that guy is different on camera than he is off of camera. I don't want that, okay? Because that's just not how I'm built. It's not how I was raised, I try to be 100% real all the time. Whether you like it, whether you don't like it, I don't really care. Okay, I don't. I'm going to be myself. Now, there is one thing that I kind of change on camera from who I am in person is I try not to cuss too much on camera. But I do. I cuss on here. You guys heard me cuss on here many times. But I try not to. I try to keep the foul language off of the camera as much as possible because you got kids watching the stuff and... Honestly, I think I just sound like a damn idiot sometimes as much as I cuss, but it's just part of my life. You know, I, I've been in construction for 20, 20 plus years, guys. It's like a second language to me. So I have to really be conscious of, I have to really think about it when I'm speaking, not to cuss. But I do probably, if there's one thing, if you meet me in person, you'll probably say, man, that guy cussed a lot more than I thought he did. I try to be better. I've been trying to be better about it, but... I do cuss a lot, but uh, other than that, I'm 100% real. I'm a construction worker. I love bass fishing. I love my family. I love God. I love football. That's that's who I am right there. That, that sums up my life right there, okay? So I appreciate Jacob being wholesome, being being, on, being honest. Now, getting into what some of the things he said, and like I said, go watch the video for yourself. I don't, I'm not going to go through everything he talked about. Um, but one of the things, one of the first things he talked about was how, you know, he, he worked his whole life to become a professional bass fisherman and he just, he just wants to fish and he feels like in order to succeed as a professional bass fisherman, you have to be able to do all these other things. And that's not what he wants to do. You know, he's, he's a pretty soft spoken guy. I can tell he's not that comfortable in front of the camera. Okay. I, I, I'm still not very comfortable in front of the camera. I'm better now than I was when I first started YouTube, but I'm not the most social guy. I'm not the best speaker. I'm just not. So I understand where he's coming from. You know, he, he said he just wants to fish. 
He just wants to go out and fish every day and make a living that way. He doesn't want to have to do all the sponsor promoting and all the other things that come with being a professional angler. I fully get that. I fully understand that. I fully respect that. You know, because he's talking about how you can't make money. A lot of you, you can't make a good living as a professional fisherman just fishing anymore. You have to have all those other things. You have to be able to be marketable. And he is struggling financially because of that, because he's not very marketable, because he's not standing in front of a camera all the time, and he's not putting himself out there to all these different sponsors. And, and you know, he's, he's not doing his things because he's not comfortable doing his things. And he just wants to fish, and he's struggling because of it financially. I mean, he said he said that there's a few times this past season on the Elite Series, he didn't even know how he was going to get home. He didn't have enough money in his bank account. He didn't know how he was going to get home from the tournament. You know, he didn't know how he was going to pay his entry fees into the next tournament. And that sucks, man. It sucks that a guy that has worked that hard to get to the level he's at um, is having to go through that. But with that being said, I do want to say this. And this is not a dig this is not a dig at Jacob. It's not. But he made the comment out. He just doesn't want to talk to nobody. He basically just wants to come in and go fish and do that. That's what he wants to do. But that's just not realistic, man. That's not realistic in any profession. Um, I would love to just to go to work and not talk to nobody. But it's not, it's not realistic. And I'm not trying to laugh at the guy or anything like that. I'm just being honest. Like, it's not, it's not fucking realistic to think that there's any profession in this world where you can just be silent and just go do just go to work and not have to speak to nobody or not have to be socially involved with anybody so that is something that i hope he understands which my guess is he probably does know that he seems like a very intelligent guy um but that is the realization is there is no there's no occupation there's no career where you can just not talk i mean maybe there is there, hell, i don't know there's there's a job for everything out there anymore who knows there probably is something but um in order to succeed in bass fishing you have to be marketable you have it's we'll talk about this in another video but bass fishing will never be a top sport it never will be it'll never be the nfl it'll never be the nba it'll never be the, the nhl it'll never be um, professional soccer it'll never be golf it'll never i think the pga tour is something that the bass professional leagues try to model after. Bass fishing will never be the PGA Tour. It'll never get to that level. And there's really only one reason why. I mean, there's a couple other things you can say, but there's one specific reason why. But I'll talk about that in another video. But uh, in order to succeed in today's fishing, you have to be an employee. Okay. You can't just survive off just going out and fishing tournaments. Now, maybe there's a few guys, maybe like the Jacob Wheelers of the world, maybe like the Dustin Connells, the Jordan Lees, the Brandon Polonics. Those guys are probably good enough where they may be able to survive off just their fishing checks only, but I doubt it. Those guys are also um, sponsored by a lot of people and have some pretty big time sponsors that I'm sure help them out quite a bit financially. So I don't think there's very many anglers in today's fishing industry that is surviving off of just fishing only. I really don't. Look at Kevin Van Dam, for example. I, I, I believe that Kevin Van Dam is the greatest bass fisherman to ever live. He's not my favorite bass fisherman. I like Kevin a lot. Got a ton of respect for the guy. Huge fan of his. My favorite bass fisherman was Denny Brower. But if you don't think Kevin Van Dam is the greatest bass fisherman to ever live, then... Um, I don't know what you're really watching because he he is the GOAT. But what made Kevin the GOAT wasn't just his prowess as a angler. It was his ability to market himself, okay? You hear all the time that Kevin was elite in marketing himself. He was an elite employee with Strike King and with Bass Pro Shops. You know, he was their top ambassador, their top promoter. He was working for these companies on the water and off the water. And yes, his fishing abilities help make those things even bigger. 
you know, if he was a crap fisherman, him talking about Strike King lures being the greatest lure ever or whatever, it probably wouldn't hold the same weight. But he he put in the work on the water and off the water. It wasn't like he was just out there fishing every day. So getting back into kind of what Jacob was saying, I understand where he's coming from. And I think if you've watched professional bass fishing for any amount of time, which I do, I follow the sport. I follow Bassmaster, MLF. I follow all of it pretty closely. I've always known that a lot of the, these guys ain't rich. They're not. Um, and it's not easy, you know. There are some guys that make better living for themselves. Um, but nobody's really doing it off just fishing alone. I can guarantee you that. Now, you don't have to be the best fisherman to make money. You don't. Like, look at, like, Gerald Swindle. You know, Gerald Swindle is a great personality. He's a great um, promoter of product. And he's a great fisherman. Ain't nobody on the Bassmaster Elite Series a bad fisherman. You don't get to that level by not being good. Like, these guys are the best of the best in the world on the Elite Series and on the Bass Pro Tour. These guys are, they're the best. Okay, they are. So none of them guys are bad bass fishermen, you know. But Gerald Swindle, I mean, he, he's in, he's probably in his, what, mid-50s now? You know, he's, he's probably on the back nine of his career. And I think he would probably say that as well. But Gerald has figured out how to promote himself in a way to make himself um, very valuable to companies. And if I had a guess, I'd say he's probably one of the most... Um, profitable anglers and of all and all of bass fishing if i had to guess because i know he does a lot of he has a lot of sponsors you know with people in the fishing industry but also outside the fishing industry so you can make a living in professional bass fishing from not from you don't have to be the best fisherman or the top of the bass fishing world in order to make a living you don't okay you just have to be able to promote and i hope that for Jacob's sake, he could find a way to get to that point. <coughs> Excuse me. Because he does, like I said, he seems like a genuine guy, seems like a humble guy, has a really good personality, you know, soft-spoken guy. And I don't even know if he realizes his videos that he put out recently, how much that is probably going to help him and his brand. Now, he did say, which is freaking crazy to me, that a couple of his sponsors, after he released that video, they actually dropped him. Like, I think his main title sponsor of the Boat Marine place he worked for dropped him after he released that video, which he didn't say anything in the video that was negative towards any of his sponsors. You know, I think he said that he's only made like $7,000 or something over the last three years from sponsors, so maybe his sponsors took that as a dig. I don't know, but they dropped him. But I think I, I think a lot of good things are coming for Jacob because I think him being putting himself out there, being authentic, being real, is going to build his own is is in the first step of building his own brand. I should say, you know, this guy had he had less YouTube subscribers than I had on my channel before he dropped this video. He, his videos were getting maybe a hundred to two hundred views. He dropped that video and the next video and i think they both hit over thirty thousand plus views and he's gained thousands of subscribers through these two videos so i hope he realizes now that people actually like that stuff you don't have to be this super giddy oh look at me i'm gonna talk about this fishing lures blah 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 you don't have to be this super stupid dumbass personality that's fake to be marketable i think that I think that he, I hope that he realizes that he's actually creating a brand for himself by just being Jacob. So, I understand where he's coming from with talking about how it's a struggle and it's not all sunshine and roses in the bass fishing world as a professional bass fisherman. I understand all that. I do. Um, but I also hope he understands that if he wants to do this for a living, if he wants to be a professional angler for uh, do it for a living, he's going to have to give something. Like he's going to have to be an employee to somebody if he truly wants to make an honest living from it and make good money from it, at least enough to pay his bills. Like you can't just fish. You know, if you want to just fish, man, you know, and, and I would tell him this if I saw him face to I tell him I tell him right just face if, if I ever seen him I say, if you want to just fish man just go fish go get a bullshit job like 
most of us have. Like, most of us don't like our jobs. I don't like my job. I just do it because I got to do it to pay the bills, you know? But, like, go fish, man. Just go fish. Go to work. Go fish. If 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 you if all you want to do is just fish and you just love fishing, and then just just go do that. Get a little stupid job to pay your bills, and then bass fish. But I think a lot of these guys that say they just want to fish means that they, they want to compete in tournaments. Is what they want to do, okay? Because if you wanted to just fish, why would you even mess with fishing tournaments? If if you truly just love bass fishing, why would you mess with just fishing tournaments, right? just just go fish man i mean <laughs> just go fish so uh i know i'm kind of rambling here guys and I, I gotta get back to work um here in about one minute so i'm gonna cut this video and bring it to a close now but uh like i said i'll leave the link in the description to jacob's video and i uh, appreciate everybody watching everybody stay safe out there and i'll talk to you guys soon peace